Okay, so I'm just gonna um, do a video about Super Mario Maker. Just a couple things that I noticed that I really liked, uh, and that I wanted to uh, to talk about. Just give me a second. I have to cough. Okay. So first, what the fuck is this image? This isn't in the forest theme. Obviously, you can uh, see it looks more like a sewer. So, you know, it's not the underground. We've seen the underground in the direct. You know, it's not not the normal. It's not uh, the sky or desert, because we've seen those. It's not ice. What could it be? So I have a theory about this. And, uh, um... I, I think we'll get to that in a little bit. So yeah, this just looked cool. Uh, the snow theme looks nice. The snack blocks are always good. Alright, so this plays into... I actually have three theories about this game. I, I love the fact that you have like the little swinging claw. I think that's so cool that not only can it carry enemies, but you can also grapple across it. And, and the, the idea is just related to that one thing. You know, having them stationary and then on a track and then you know uh and then on a track with wings and then just stuff like that that can be really cool but do you, do you notice something about uh, that's odd about this uh about this picture I'll give you like five ten seconds so yeah the i believe the background and also the foreground color is different so I'm just going to leave that there, along with the other thing. This is cool. I love the semi-solid platforms. You can see the forest uh, tile set in the bottom left. The water looks great. It's a shame that it's uh, only relegated to this theme, but I guess that's fine. I mean, you can move lava in the castle theme, but you get what I'm saying. This looks nice. Oh, I'm an idiot. I cut off part of my, uh, like a small part of the screen. That's fine. This, again, the background looks different. It's a different shade of color, and I think the the foreground is... I, I don't think it is. It might just look like a, a slight shade lighter. I don't know. That could just be the contrast between the background, but the background's different. This is a better look at the uh, ice world with also uh, icicles, which is nice. I didn't expect them to actually add those into Mario Maker, because they were only used in like a couple levels in uh, U. But hey, they added them, and I'm super excited. This boom boom. This is a desert. It looks nice with the semi-solid platform that's making the uh, cave look. There's the desert, another semi-solid platform, which I like. Angry sun. Snow world looks really nice. I wish it didn't look... Uh, actually, you know what? Th make that four theories. But we'll get to that eventually. I wish it didn't look so much like the normal theme. This is cool, that it looks like one of those uh, platforms from Super Mario World that had like two, two thin ones that kind of had like a weird uh, um, foliage at the top. Oh. <laughs> Good lord, Britain. What are you doing? <laughs> They're confiscating spoons. Oh. Our memes are slowly becoming reality. Let's look. Okay, so yeah, this is the night theme. I, I love how they implemented this. This is such a cool, like, feature. And I, I was like, oh my god. Like, I was watching it, and the, the darkness in the ghost house also looks good. As you can see, I think it's... I can't tell, but I think the background's that blue background again, which is nice. The sandstorm with the... I guess some images are bigger than others, that makes sense, yeah. You're just missing more of the, the terrain that you can already see. But the, yeah, the, the desert looks nice. The, uh... See, this is... I actually, uh, predict this, but not everything about it. Because I said, no, there's, there's no way it's a night theme. Because what, what tile set are you going to use for the night theme? It's obviously that's like you can select the night background or change the night. I was pretty close. It, it's a moon that you put in the stage. 
That's so cool. I, I can't wait for all the levels that use that to like destroy enemies that are blocking a path. This looks neat. I, I wish you could do something more with it. Like, I wish it actually made gravity upside down, not just flip the thing vertically. This looks nice. I wish you could see the top of that. I hope it just doesn't look like the, the fucking bridge thing. That'd be annoying. Make something unique out of it. Also, you can see the... Because I was going by super quick. But yeah, yeah. I, I also predicted... Uh, well, actually, hang on. We'll get to that. Snowy theme looks really nice. The forest theme and night looks really nice. That looks good. Um, and this is actually... So this originally played into that first series, but this is the sky theme. For Mario 3D World. Yeah, it doesn't exactly scream it. So my the uh, my original theory, which I think is still partially true, but now it's changed a little bit, is that each style has its own um, has its own special type of world. So for Mario One, it's the sewer because that relates to Mario Brothers, like the original arcade. Mario Three has the tank thing because it had like a tank level, which actually I think uh. I can't remember his name, Nico something, predicted. Or he, like, that's one of the, the world types he wanted, and I think he got it. Um. So yeah, this is Sky Theme. This is Ghost House. So yeah, what would 3D worlds be? Well, I think you're hearing the music now, the, uh, the carnival. Though I do wish it was the, uh, the one with the, uh, the weighted platforms, like the autumn look. I would love that. That level's so pretty, and... You can see the jungle with the crates. This is so cool. Like, you put that with a Buzzy Beetle shell going back and forth. That's gonna be... Whew. That's gonna be so much fun. That looks pretty. The the the, the blink, blinking blocks, I did not expect to be here, but I'm so happy they are. Snow World looks nice. I never said a whole chunk. Wow. It's just a... Uh, some blocks to the left and a uh, uh, fat fire bro to the right. You can't even really see all of them. Uh, there are skip squeaks in the sky theme. There are bonsai bills and the car. The car, I was hoping it. I I'm glad it's exactly what I hoped because now you can make minecart levels like in DK, uh, yeah, DKC. W with the scrolly thing, you can have it kind of scroll up as the the track goes up or something, you could use the... I wonder what happens if you put it on a track. Can you do that? Oh, man. Here's the Charvarg or whatever. Charizard, whatever. Looks cool. I'm glad you can put him in the background. Um. Yeah, this is the airship theme. It looks nice. It looks more like the, uh, the final Bowser level. There's Meowser. There's, this level looks cool. I don't know how you, uh, got him in lava. I guess I can survive in lava, but that looks really cool. Or poison, whatever. Alright, this, so the background was different than what I expected. But I expected the desert to look, to have the, the, uh, chocolate island kind of color scheme, as you can see at the end. And the background from Tubular, but I was close. It's the background from Chocolate Island, island 3, I think. So, yeah. That, Super Mario World has so many good backgrounds. I hope, uh... I, I wish we had changed some backgrounds. I don't know. This looks nice, the sky theme in Mario 3 with the semi-solid platform. So this uh, this is the jungle theme. So, like, if you're seeing the sewer theme and thinking, Oh, that's forest, because it has poison water? No, this is, this is the jungle. This is airship some more. That's, uh, Ross's little Mario thing. Uh, I'm gonna make a meme out of it that says, uh, this is look like the face of mercy to you when, uh, the game comes out. Yeah, now you can see it's the sky theme. This is from the Japanese, uh, video. Like, gameplay thing. There's the angry sound in Mario U, which looks completely weird. Also, I'm glad it's not restricted to the desert. Because that would suck. There's the night theme with the happy moon. Desert night with happy moon. And, uh, 
has a nice spotlight effect in water, which I actually was like, oh, I hope it, I hope it does that, and then it does. It's like, oh, cool, awesome. The underground or the upside down underground. Uh, you can, I think how it works is, um, you hold A and kind of go left or right to build momentum, and then press the, oops, press the uh, B button to jump. I think that's how it works. So. But can you hold objects while you're grab, uh, grabbing onto it? I think you... I, I, I don't see a reason as to why you couldn't, since it's grabbing you, you're not grabbing onto it. But that'd be interesting if you couldn't, because then, like, the shell would fly off in the direction you jumped. And so you have it hit a block... To, like, uh, hit up a vine... To, that you jump to like over a pit of uh, lava or poison or something and then you just man that'd be cool and uh, you know worst comes to worst if it's not you could just kind of uh, have a timing challenge and throw it this is cool the weighted platforms they look different from the ones in the in the actual game just the night theme with a shit ton of fire bars oh that's a that's a sanic meme uh <laughs> okay yeah that should be it so yeah, I'm super excited. There's still a lot more. I'm sure we'll get something at E3 or before. The Nintendo said something about, um, said something about how the E3 is only going to be software only, which I thought was weird. Why software only? Like, that leaves room for basically Smash DLC, Mario Maker DLC if they choose to talk about it, and not much else. I wonder if they're maybe making a move to less physical releases and more uh, software so that way you don't have to switch out the game cartridge as much I'm, I don't know it just seems weird so yeah that should be it um yeah super excited there's a list of stuff that I kind of want to see in Mario Maker that I <coughs> that I don't think a lot of people uh, have thought about which I'll probably make a video out of that but yeah, that's... I'm super excited. I'm monumentally excited for this fucking game. I, I'm the type of person who not only has filled up all 30 slots in the original, but also has a uh, notepad filled with level ideas. So, uh, yeah, that'll be fun. See you guys later.